Alrighty, we have a new keyboard here. It's the RK, which stands for Royal Clutch. It's the Sync 87G keyboard. Just had to wake it up there. It is RGB, obviously, and it's also wireless, which is a plus in my opinion. I really like wireless keyboards. And also, as you can see, it's not a full-size keyboard. It doesn't have the number pad on the side, um, but it has uh, the arrow keys. It does have that section, so I think that's good. Normally, the keyboards that are, that are you know, that ends right here, I don't know, I find them to be a little small, and I, I miss the arrow keys on those keyboards, but luckily, this one does have it. I think this is the perfect size especially because I don't really use the number pad too much. Uh, but this is a mechanical gaming keyboard. It is a little bit clicky. Actually, before we get into anything else, uh, let's go ahead with a quick sound test. It has brown switches, as you can see, and one of the things I really like about the brown switches, and on this keyboard in particular, they're not too loud, they're not like blue switches that are really clicky, and you can really hear them even outside the room. With this keyboard, you're typing, you're playing some games, and you can hear it, it's clicky, it's very satisfying to click, but it's not going to be obnoxious for anyone else. It's not going to be loud enough to where you could hear it outside the room, it might disturb somebody, or even somebody in the room, it's not going to disturb them if you're playing and you know, typing with this keyboard. It's a very good balance. Now you obviously get some lighting with this keyboard and it looks incredible. One of my favorite things about this model, the white model, is with the lights reflecting off the white surface, they look much brighter. Side note, um, if it's not plugged in, you know, if you're using it wirelessly, it will go to sleep after about a minute if you're not using it. And that's just to save battery life. That's one of the features I really like about wireless keyboards and it makes the battery life last a lot longer. All right, but back to the point that I was making. Um, because it's a white keyboard, it's very bright with the light. It looks good during the day and during the night, of course, but especially during the day, you can see the keyboard clearly and you can also see the lights clearly. I'm shining a light right on it and you can still see them. Now there's no software that goes into, you know, the whole keyboard customization, the lighting and all that stuff. So really all you have to do to change the light modes, it, it does come with a few, um, is hold the function key right here, we hold it, and then you see the, the scroll lock key, there's a little icon right by it. So you hold the function key and you press scroll lock and that'll change the modes. And also for the modes that have like a static color like this one, it's just red so far. You hold the function key once again and you go to the page up key and you can change the color. Blue looks good, purple, pink, a lighter blue. It looks great and then of course, um, you can change the speed with the arrow keys going left and right and the brightness going up and down. One of the modes I like the most here has to be probably this one right here. It's like a wave. Um, you can also change the color to start with, like the, the light blue, this one. But I really enjoy what it's doing right now. It's just waving, but you know, it looks good. So this keyboard is $55 on Amazon at the moment, um, but there's a little $10 coupon box under the price. I don't know if it's there for everyone or only for a certain amount of time. It's certainly not affiliated with me, but yeah, I see that from time to time with certain products, but you might be able to get it for $45 if, that's, if that $10 off thing applies. Um, but yeah, it's available in black and white. Both are $55 and both have the brown switches. Both have incredible lighting. And I think that's a really good price because a keyboard like this, I've been using it for like the past month or so, maybe a little bit more. Um, it, it's really good so far. I've really enjoyed the time I've had with it. I've been playing a lot of GTA, just messing around, not even playing missions or anything, not online, just driving around, um, just doing random things. And it's been really fun. I finally got back into playing Far Cry 5. I was playing the story like a year ago and then I stopped and I haven't played it since. And I finally resumed it and I've had a really good time playing with this keyboard. Everything's been snappy, very responsive great so far. I did play a little bit of Cold War, that was great as well. I actually did surprisingly well because I'm garbage at PC, but I don't know. It's, not, it's probably not the keyboard making me play better. It's definitely helping. It's not lagging whatsoever. There's no response time issues. And I know a lot of people would prefer a wired keyboard when playing a game like Call of Duty or something competitive, something that's fast paced that you really need like every little millisecond because anything could you know mess you up. And so far this keyboard hasn't given me any latency issues, no response time delays or anything like that because it is wireless. 
and I always play with it wirelessly. I only plug it in when it needs charge, but gaming wirelessly, it's been phenomenal. It feels like a wired keyboard. There's no delays that I've noticed, at least. I know there's probably some microscopic ones where if you really wanted to get into the science of it, you wouldn't probably notice it. But if you're just gaming, you're not gonna notice any latency issues or anything like that. And speaking of the wirelessness, it's not on right now because I have the USB dongle right here. Uh, it does come with its own USB dongle. Um, also, it's a plus for me. Um, I prefer having the USB dongle. Let me plug it in there. Uh, because this computer, first of all, does not have Bluetooth capabilities, uh, most of desktops that, you know, gaming PCs that don't have high-end motherboards probably don't have Bluetooth um, capabilities, and this is one of them. So having the dongle really helps. So that's a pretty good keyboard for the price. This is definitely worth it. I'd say $54 is actually quite cheap. Very inexpensive for a keyboard like this. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I see one similar for like $70. This is really a steal in my opinion. And some side notes, you do get a USB Type-C cable. Um, the port on this keyboard is USB Type-C. It's right on the top over here somewhere. And you can plug it into your computer. It's a, it's a normal USB on that end. And you also get a keycap removal as you probably saw earlier when I was removing the keys. And that's basically it for stuff you get in the box. Battery life has been excellent. I have to charge it maybe once every two weeks, depending on how much I use it. On a week with heavy gaming, I probably have to charge it once at the end of the week. But generally, I don't game that much. And just by using it, you know, typing papers, browsing the web and, you know, normal use, it, it'll last you a good two, three weeks maybe. And then if you wanna lower the brightness or just turn off the lights in general, you, know, you could easily hit a whole month without charging it. And of course you could use it while having it plugged in. When it runs out of battery, just simply plug it in and keep going. All right, so that's been it for the Royal Clutch Sync 87G gaming keyboard. It's wireless, has brown switches, and it's great. And if you're looking for a gaming keyboard, um, I would definitely consider this one. Assess your options, take a look at this one, look at its features, other reviews, and just how it looks, and see if that fits into your, your plan, and go from there. I definitely recommend it, I give it the seal of approval, and yeah, that's the end of the video. Screw you guys, I'm going home.